Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Gwent the Witcher card game. Now today I have another beginner's deck for you and today we're going to be playing some Northern Realms. Yes, uh, so the armor deck currently running around on ranked and casual whatever is a armor deck and it is very very strong. Now if you are starting off and you wish to play that deck you may want to start off with a bit of a weaker version of it in order to maybe build upon that then get used to all the cards, slowly put in the better cards who which better synergize with this deck. And yeah, then basically you're going to have a really, really powerful deck, at least until the hotfix drops, which could be any day now. First of all, you're starting off with Fultist as your leader because he is default leader. He's pretty good. I found him to be actually even stronger recently because of the presence of Assassins. Now he boosts every unit in your deck by one. Assassin, if you didn't know, damages the unit to its left when they play it, so it's I believe it's to your right. I may be wrong. Either way, it damages them by their base power. So this guy will always keep everything alive, essentially. So you play him as early as you can. Boost everything in your deck. It's wonderful. On to the actual cards. Now the cards, I'll start off by saying, are that you need to craft. You'll need to craft a Redanian Elite, a Redanian Knight Elect, uh, a Dump Banner Heavy Cavalry, and three copies of Thunderbolt Potion. Now these things really make your deck tick. Now they're all bronzes, all six of them. So... I'm pretty sure you can afford them. The golds and silvers I've kept normal, default. And yeah, we just run through a very, very quick explanation of this deck. So basically you want to be building up armor on your units and then using the Dunbanner Hevel Cavalry to remove the armor from them units and boost himself by that armor. Now, these guys, Redanian Elites, are really, really good to boost, it turns out. So uh, Thunderbolt Potions will be doing that as well. They add two armor and boost them by three so these guys will get really really stacked in both armor and strength and then you use the dumbbell heavy cavalries to take all their armor and because their armor all disappears they get boosted by five again so that's the kind of synergies you want to be going for the redanian knight elect if he has armor he boosts units adjacent to it by one wonderful how good's that also, he can be his armor can be replenished with these thunderbolt potions if someone maybe damages them to stop his effect going off that's how you replenish it now, the Trident Infantryman, he would actually be quite good in this deck, except we don't have any officers, so he never triggers. He just stays with his base, basic effect of gaining three armor, which, at the end of the day, isn't the worst thing in the world. The Silvers, I would take out straight away. A Doodoo, he's just awful. Now, I'm not I'm not really sure on Cleaver and Sile de Tanzaville, because I think they're both decent cards. They both do a job. Same as Decoy. Commander's Horn I don't think really fits here. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm just being wrong there. Um, and Scorch again. These They're all basic cards. They do a job. Now, some of the better cards that you maybe want to substitute in are Trollalalalalalal and Prince Dennis. Now, both these guys have very good armor synergy and they will fit perfectly into this deck. Same as a gold card called Shani. Now, Shani will be obviously substituted in for Royal Decree because I don't think there's anything here you need to draw every single time so shiny's a really good card to put in this deck overall this deck's really really good i've used it in a couple of casual games already against people like triple my level for some daft reason i'm not sure what the matchmaking's on about there but um against a a better armor uh, northern realms deck i managed to go 2-1 the last round was very very close i think it was five points in it um so i was very unlucky to lose that one and against a Weather Monsters deck, I actually completely wiped, wiped the floor with them. So this deck's actually really, really good. It does a job. I mean, there's obviously going to be better cards out there. But for a beginner, for someone to get started learning a deck and building upon that deck, this is a very, very good place to start. So I guess without any further ado, let's jump into a game. Set at my table. Okay, we're break. against Skellige. Now, I haven't played Skellige much, so I have no idea what I'm looking forward to here. Either maybe Resurrect or... Um, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Thunderbolt Potions, nice to have. Redanian Light Elite's nice to have. Knight Elect's nice to have. Heavy Cavalry's good. Reinforced Trebuchet's good. I don't need all three of these Thunderbolt Potions. I feel like it's massively overkill. Philippa Allheart's nice to have as well. Sealed of Tanzaville will be used. Uh, what else can we have? Let's get rid of another one of these. Dumb banner. That'll do for me. So we've got the dumb banners to take the armor off the Redanian elites. We've got a trebuchet to constantly do damage. 
Right, so this is either going to be discard or let's do discard. And let's drink. Discard two queens guard and I think that's two Freeze queens. The yeah, there's two queens guard and the one that deploys itself. The oldest tri uh, trick in the book. So we're going to start off with a with a trebuchet. Just because it's nice to have the, the the card out there. I'm gonna. I think I might go for a Redanian Knight Elect next. I'll take that treasure. Tear your collar off with it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go a Knight Elect at the back. That's it. Good. Yeah, you just do work. Because now we can strengthen the trebuchet. I mean, we've got Foltest in hand as well. Probably should get Foltest out on the board. You blind, greedy fool. Operator. Okay, so he just gave me a Queen's Guard. Nice. Didn't really need one of them, but thanks. Um... Trying to work out what the best course of action here is. I think is to get this Redanian Knight out on this Long side. Live the king. And then we can get a dumb banner out on him after we've played another one. Maybe. Okay, so he's strengthening his dudes, that's fine. So we might play another knight elect here. And then Another Redanian Elite at the end. And then Thunderbolt Potion, three of these. Done banner both of them. Hopefully this works. I don't feel like Queen's Guard's that good of a deck right now. So, let's see what happens, I guess. So next turn's going to be Sea Lady into Thunderbolt Potion, because I want to get these guys to have as much armor as I can. Oh, okay. That changes everything. Um... In fact, we're ahead if I play the Queen's Guard, so that's fine. Real good. Real good. It's fine by me. He gave me the Queen's Guard after all, so... We take the first round, which is nice. He's gonna... All the Queen's Guard are gonna go into the Graveguard, which is a bit annoying. Scorch and Geralt. Geralt's good. It's a lot of points. Sea uh, Lady Tanzerville might be okay, but I need more units to play that on. I'm gonna get rid of Scorch. Okay, Cleaver's fine. Um, the first card we're gonna play is gonna be Fultest. Onward! Attack! Made everything that little bit stronger. I want to play Cleaver, but I, he has to have something that has that needs to be locked. Not done for here. Watch us and keep us. I don't know who that is. Glory Resurrect, fans. nice. Nice. Now you're strengthening stuff in your graveyard. Wonderful. Um, so neither of them are good to lock currently. I don't want to use Philippa, so I guess we use Geralt. Let's get this over with. In next turn, I'm hoping for Cleaver, because then I have something to use the Thunderbolt Potion on, like the front row. So I'm hoping he plays something I want to lock. I don't know game. who that is. This is the problem with not playing against a deck often. Okay. Veteran, you may discard a bronze card from your deck. Wonderful, that isn't the card I wanted to play at all. I guess we could always just play Philip at Isleheart. This is fine. Let me do five and hope for the four to hit here. Or do you do five here? Oh, okay. That works. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was probably a more optimal way of playing Philippa there because she does 15 damage rather than 14, but I think it's fine. A thousand thunder and sea devils! <laughs> Right, so now we've got something to lock. What does it say? Any enemy Hjalmars? I don't know what a Hjalmar is. I don't know if I have any. 
I'll boost any enemy Hyama, so he's going to be trying to place them. So, yeah, let's... Here we go. So now we, he's just completely... He's just giving me five points, essentially. Unless he unlocks it. Okay, he's going to put fog on the front row. It's really annoying because I don't have any clear skies in this deck. Okay, we're going to go for it. Politics. Um... It hits the highest, so it's probably best to boost these two. I don't think it really matters, ultimately. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, it would be, but I think Geralt's going to lose his armor. What's this on one? Yeah. So, I need them banner both of these. I feel like I might just pass. I know I've played a lot of cards, but... I'm hoping that he can lose card advantage. See what he plays. Roll the Kree. Great into Geralt. That's 16 points. Oh, I don't know what it is. Lugos. Okay. I'll find out what Lugos does in a minute. There we go. Discard a bronze unit from your deck. Damage your unit by the discarded unit's power. Okay, so that was a strong discard. I'm going to pass... I'm going to take two more damage, so he only needs to make 11 up. If he can do that in one card, we go into the last round even. You're I've got good. two dumb banners, which really are good. good. Okay, yeah, he's definitely won. I think it was probably a good idea to pass then, because I'd have been fighting a never winning battle. It'd be good to keep Scorching this time, I think. If I get it, that is. Oh, Redanian Elite's nice. I'm going to get rid of one of my dinner banners and hope to get Scorch. Oh, it's not the worst thing in the world, I guess. Modern Freyr is patient. Oh, bollocks. But she brooks no insult. Let's not get in the way Wait, of what? the axe. Oh, you must have another way of getting out the um, Queen's Guard. So, best way to play this is Redanian Knight here. Long live the king. And then this one. And then boost. Yeah, so. Could, right, so I'm trying to work out if applying the armor first and then using the dumb banner is going to be better, but it's not. It's going to be better to play him. Onward! Take the armor and then boost them both. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder if I can toggle this twice. Do you know what? You only live once. Let's find out. I've given him more armor, so I'm hoping if I reduce his armor to zero again, he's going to boost by another five. We serve her who is yeah, it is Queen's Guard. Yep, control. GG. <laughs> 54 points on the board. Oh. Okay. All right, time to find out anyway. And it does proc twice. Right, so at least we've got some information from this game, and ultimately... I feel like with Scorch we might have won this. Maybe not. But, um, yeah. This deck's not bad. His, his was a refined Skellige deck. Like, <laughs> what more can I do? I, I won a round. Sure, he maybe gave me it. But I think that this deck's okay for beginners. Obviously, you're going to want to start adding in cards like Trollolol, like Prince, Dennis, and Shani, the ones I showed earlier on. Because they're just really strong cards and they synergize really well with this deck. A lot of this this deck is going to be dead cards in terms of doo doo. Maybe you don't want Cleaver in there. Maybe Decoy, Commander's Horn. You know what I mean? The 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 expensive cards, so to speak, are pretty useless. The the default ones, at least. Philippa Arhart's good, but she's obviously faction specific, so she's expected to be at least okay. But yeah, I think this deck's good. I know I haven't showcased it in his ultimate light of being a defeat, um, but. I know for a fact it's a good beginner's deck and it's something to build off. It's a good foundation. And with that said, I'm going to say thank you all very, very much for watching. I hope to see you all around and I'll see you again soon.